Welcome to ResCAS, a 3D training simulation aimed at helping you master ResNet combustion safety procedures and understanding. In this first lesson, we'll look at some of the fundamentals of ResCAS. The house featured here will be the same house aesthetically every time you play, but the house will vary greatly in combustion features and pressure values. There will be configurations where appliances are independently vented or joint vented, or where you will face a single CAS or dual CAS. The variations are almost endless. To interact with the game, you need only to use a simple mouse click. For example, to open the front door, all you need to do is click on it. Anytime you want to engage with something related to pressure or combustion in the house, simple clicking will either perform an obvious function like opening a door or window or present you with a dialog box that will give you further options and choices. Each of the appliances inside the house and outside the house have close-up views or multiple close-up views. This will allow you to interact with the appliance. To engage this view, simply click on the appliance. For example, I'll click on the fireplace here. You can turn it on and turn it off. And by simply hitting this large X button, you can exit out of this close-up view. This is true of the fireplace, the oven, the range hood, the thermostat to control the furnace, the dryer, and the water heater. On the lower portion of the screen you will see the dashboard. This will indicate which appliances or exhaust fans or the like are active. When items are yellow that indicates that that item is active. If we decide to examine or investigate the house and turn on and off items, the dashboard will reflect that interactivity. For example, I'm going to click on the bathroom fan downstairs. As you can see in the dashboard, the downstairs bathroom fan icon has lit up to show that it is on. This dashboard will become helpful as you investigate the house and do further combustion safety testing. On the left edge of your screen, you will find the toolbox. To engage, simply click and it will show you the tools available. Some tools, like the manometer, will show prominently on your screen and you can engage directly with them. Other tools, like the gas sniffer, will allow you to interact with an item like a gas line. Also on the left-hand side of your screen is the clipboard. You should use the clipboard as both a guiding framework to the game and your answer sheet. Similar to a real-world audit, you will enter your findings from the audit here. Significantly more detail will be provided on the clipboard in Lesson 4. Now if you wish to proceed with the game, feel free to jump in and discover all that it can do.